how mentally prepared are you staying without your family and if you're a fresher this will be a very very highlighted question for you because you are a fresher you don't know you might don't have no idea about cooking and all so guys welcome back to another video of Cathay Pacific and now it will be the third round which is a third final assessment and that is the offline assessment I was getting numerous messages I was getting number of text on the Instagram and as well as under the comment section on the YouTube channel that please sir make a video I was not going well from last three to four days because of my throat pain but uh, trust me this was a very 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 important video so before starting the video i would like to congratulate all of those people who have really made till this round and this is a big achievement and please please do not think so that if you have not you know cleared till english test or you have not cleared the english test it's not an end of the life you have to have to take another chance not with only Cathay pacific but there are numerous other airlines so please 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 be proud of yourself till the time you have reach to this particular round so guys welcome back to my new video my name is Vinayak Madan and you are watching do it my way thank you so much for a lot of lot of lot of love and uh, subscribing the channel and liking and also commenting as usual and also giving me a lot of boost the few videos are already on the track which will be provided to you and the reason why I am shifting to something different will be given update very very soon so guys in this particular video we'll be discussing about the Cathay Pacific test which will be offline test and that will be face to face test I guess in Mumbai or I guess in Delhi I'm not sure about the venue but it is gonna happen soon as the dates are already being released and you're supposed to select one of the date from that before moving ahead i would like to request you to again subscribe this channel because if you do subscribe this channel and also press that bell icon you will get the notification there and then and i keep posting all the videos and i can ensure you that the content which you will get on this particular channel you will not get anywhere else this is my my personal promise to you and please do comment tell me how is the video and what other aspects of the cabin crew you wanted to hear from my side so that you get the best content whenever you need it now let's talk about what you are gonna expect in this particular interview which will be one to one or two by one or two on one I don't know what it's gonna be but it is offline interview and uh, we have a lot of questions in our mind and first of all be proud of yourself the way I told you before that be proud of yourself you have made to this round and now let's talk about what you're going to encounter in this particular round so guys technically and practically when we talk there are no such videos on the youtube and there is no such experienced people because i can make a video any xyz person will make, make a video but is this really valid do we have to trust this person i think so no so please 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 do not blindly trust because making a video on youtube doesn't cost you anything but it will cost you a lot if you really trust someone which is not that trustworthy. So what I am trying to let you know is that I know many people are searching a lot of videos. I was getting so many messages, sir. I'm not able to find any video. Please, can you make a video? To be very frank, I really don't have any knowledge because Cathay Pacific Airline doesn't recruit quite often, but they come very, very rare, right? So we are not sure what exactly they are going to ask you. So according to my experience of almost nine plus years working with different airlines and working with different corporate companies, giving a lot of interviews. So what my experience tells you is that the last round is always a one to one, always a one to one you know, uh, interview because they will not ask you such difficult questions. What exactly they can ask you is that they can ask you about the CV make sure whatever you added in your CV and whenever you submitted the CV initial part, please take that particular CV because if you do any changes and if they come to know, it can be, you know, you can be something, uh, a breach of, uh, you know, information which you're providing. So don't change even a full stop, right? Take it as the way it is. Do not change anything, right? Because if it is, if, if it is correct, that's why they have taken you, right? To this, partic this particular round. So what I'm trying to tell you is that please go through all the CV points, all the things, the objective, the hobbies, the things, and also make sure the points which are not mentioned in the CV and you have that in your, in you know, in the qualities which you have already, 
that are, that are not mentioned in the CV, please have an idea of that. For example, they might ask you that uh, please tell me something which is not mentioned in the CV. Do you have any qualities qualities which are not mentioned in the CV? Something which is not, I know, uh, I know what is you have written in the resume or something. So please have that something in your mind so that at least you can speak in front of them. They might ask you that how what you expect from us and what you think and what you know about Cathay Pacific so just go on the Google and just little bit learn about the history how many aircrafts they have how many destinations they go mostly the good companies don't ask it but you never know just be you know proactive in that particular how case how can you you know live or how how will you be able to live in hong kong because when i was in jet airways when i was you know uh, working with jw marriott in chandigarh so they asked you that how will you be able to or will you be able to you know manage your stuff or blah 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 uh, in jet airways moving to new delhi and all that or any mumbai blah 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 right because uh, in the interview you don't know the base right so they give you the base different but in hong kong they know you will be sitting in you know staying in hong kong near the airport so they will be telling you they will be asking you just want you to know your viewpoint that what exactly oh, mentally prepared are you staying without your family and if you're a fresher this will be very very highlighted question for you because you are a fresher you don't know you might don't have no idea about cooking so they all. might ask you you might encounter this particular question that how are you well prepared are you comfortable moving or relocating to hong kong because this this is a whole and soul a different country different culture and the environment the weather the food everything would be different so be positive always tell that yes i am mentally prepared because the moment the day i applied for cathay pacific i was having an idea that yes i will be moving to hong kong so i i started you know cooking myself so that i should i should eat healthy i should stay fit so this is the way how you can go through these particular questions guys they can also ask about the normal questions like why you want to join again cathay pacific you know and uh, what exactly skills you acquire that we can you know think that you are a very good fit and why are you so different among others so these are the only questions which revolve around a cabin crew jobs if you talk about any xyz company it's it all depends upon your idea upon upon your instinct and the way you instantly reply to them right so trust me don't think so much and just go for it right so guys now let's summarize the things we have already discussed in this particular video first thing first you should be very well versed with your cv the resume because if they ask you anything from the cv or out of the cv you should be very very well versed should not be cramped it should be very very uh, normal or you know very natural it should come from your heart the second thing you should be very much comfortable with giving these answers like why you want to be cabin crew why only cathay pacific and uh, what skills you acquire to be a good fit with the cabin crew why are you so different from others and anything you can tell me you know uh, you know which makes you the best fit for this company and do you know anything about the company blah 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 just read about those things right and they might also ask you about uh, your relocation are you comfortable relocating because they asked me in every company uh, if you talk about the corporates infosys if you talk about the jw marriott if you talk about the jet airways also qatar airways right you they will ask you these particular questions i know they are very basic questions but sometimes we take it for granted and we it really hits hits us back right so these are the questions which can be asked again and again so it will be just understand one thing the more longer the interview goes the more chances are of your selection because if, for example if i'm talking to you and if i'm talking to a guy or a girl if i'm talking to her or a guy for a longer period of time that means i'm getting her uh, i'm understanding her and vice versa and the same way if you talk about the interview the person is taking interest in you that's why that person is giving you a chance to answer a lot of questions in case a person is getting irritated the person will say okay okay let me ask two questions and let me wrap it off right because they don't want to waste time so trust me the longer the interview goes the the more the chances you have to to be a part of that particular company always keep a smile always say yes 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 never say no in case you are not comfortable or you are not aware of it never say no about that you always have to say a very positive answer yes of course i am ready for it although i don't have any knowledge about it but still i am very positive i am very good at learning i'll grasp things very nicely so i will try to grasp as much i can 
and during the training period so i can give good results this is how the thing goes right so guys this was all from this particular video nothing nothing is fixed in any final interview but yes these are the only questions which revolve around just go through these particular questions and answers in case you're not comfortable giving any answer please understand and text me back on the instagram that is do it my way underscore 15 and let me know i will reply you and i will let you know how to answer that so guys this was all from this particular video i hope you liked it all the very best please give me a good 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 you know uh, answer and that yes sir i have already cleared this particular cathay pacific and going to hong kong very soon and one thing very important please don't about the worry about the visa clear the interview they will assist you don't worry about that right i'll see you in the next particular video with the fruitful and the information video till then bye bye Take care and shabak it.